Hi, I'm George with AmateurLogic.tv and Ham Nation, and I'm talking here with Dennis Machenbacher of Yezu. Yes, sir. Glad you have this opportunity. Well, I know yezu has got a new digital system out here, and I, I just wanted to stop by and, and learn a little bit about it. I, I know very little at this point, so fill me in. Well, we came up with uh, a digital system that we call System Fusion, and our, the intent of our system was to be able to merge both conventional FM users and digital users so they could share the same repeater. So we call that system fusion, fusion being the bringing together of both modes. And that's in recognition, our recognition, that conventional FM is not going to go away in our minds for quite a long time. And that there are certain advantages of conventional FM that digital can't replicate and vice versa. So rather than making them two separate entities, we brought them together into one system. So uh, any analog gear that's out there now is going to work with this system, I assume, by that. What about digital systems? Does this work with any other digital systems, or is this a brand new system that's coming out right now? It actually is a new system. Uh, it uses C4 FM technology, and uh, this is a, a technology that's been very, very popular and appears to have a nice long longevity to it over on the commercial side. So they paid the price of uh, developing it, if you will, and now we're taking advantage of it and bringing it to, to amateur radio. Oh, I see. So... What can you do with it? I'm assuming you can, you can do voice, but are, are there other modes that this thing can handle as well? Yes, we, we actually uh, we have a digital mobile uh, that will do digital or analog, and we have handhelds, and they both can do a number of different things. You can have voice uh, using half of the bandwidth and the other half being digital where it might be identifying your call sign and maybe your GPS location. It can be switched over to where it's all digital voice or it can be all digital digital passing data. So there's a number of different modes uh, that these radios can be put in, uh, which gives an awful lot of capabilities. And our intention there is use the mode that is needed for the situation that you're in. You don't have to be forced into one or the other. You can choose which one you need. All right. So if there's a conversation going on on the repeater, say on analog right now, if I want to use that repeater, then I, I should go analog with the other guys so that they can hear me as well, or is it a simultaneous thing? Actually, it's not a problem. That, that's the good point. It's uh, If you're set up, the radio is uh, already in the digital mode, you can transmit into this repeater in digital, and the fellas on the other side will be able to hear you on the analog side. They'll be able to hear you come back as analog if that's the way the control operator has the thing set up. So that's the good part. Nobody loses touch with uh, old friends who maybe have themselves not decided that digital is something they want to do. So if there's a conversation going on on analog and I'm on digital with my radio, will I hear that? You'll be able to hear it through our automatic mode select. It's a particular feature that we're introducing uh, with this system fusion that will allow you to hear either analog or digital. You can be set up for that. In the same regard, if those two people were using the repeater to talk to each other uh, and you wanted to make a comment and you were in the digital mode, if the repeater is set up properly, you'll be able to transmit digital up to the repeater and it will repeat you in analog. Okay, well that's neat. Um can these repeaters be linked together like some other systems where there's maybe a repeater in another town or even another country? Is that capability going to be included in this system? Yes, it is. We've got a device called Wires X, and this device is in final development right now, and when it's complete, you'll be able to link these repeaters uh, together. So how many radios right now support System Fusion? There are no repeaters out in the public domain at this time. However, there's several beta test units spread across the United States that are doing the final testing for us. As far as the handhelds and the mobiles, they've been in the market for one to two years and are being used on analog today. So they're out there and, and very popular today because of their uh, capabilities. So this mobile here has got a color screen on it. That looks pretty nice. It, it does, and it's very, very popular for us. We're really glad we introduced this type of a display, and we've also included touchscreen for the first time. So there are a number of functions that an operator can go to and select just by touching the screen. Okay. 
And the handhelds here, these are uh, five watt models? Yes, they're five watts. There appears to be two different ones, but they're actually the same model, just two different casings for them. And uh, they are the newest and greatest as far as being something familiar that the users would already be familiar with. They're just like our VX8 in that they do APRS, they have a built-in uh, GPS, uh, they are dual band, and uh, they're, they're loaded with features. And they'll do digital. Uh, and the repeater here, it's got a... Uh display on the front of it now i see that's color too yes it is and it's very 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 user friendly our goal was to make this an extremely easy user friendly setup process and and we've been successful with a number of our beta testers have actually tried to take the repeater set it up without even going to the manual and a number of them have been very successful doing that so we think we we hit a home run as far as making this thing user friendly so I don't have to know Linux to be able to set this up? No, sir, you do not. <laughs> Anybody can do this one. It is, it's, it's really a charm. Well, that's cool. Well, we'll be waiting to see where System Fusion goes in the future. It's, uh, you know, we're on the horizon right now of some interesting technologies coming out uh, and being available to amateur radio. I know some of this stuff has been in uh, commercial service possibly for a while, but it's brand new to us, and we're loving it. Yes, and, and we, we, we're happy that we had the advantage of, of seeing the commercial use of C4FM uh, some time before we decided that this looks like it's going to carry long into the future, and we wanted to be part. That was the, the horse we decided to ride forward. Okay, thanks again, Dennis, and uh, we'll be watching System Fusion, and uh, I guess we'll see you in Dayton soon. Absolutely. We'll be looking forward to seeing you there, see if we have any new products to show you there. Gigaparts is the largest independent amateur radio dealer in the nation. Everything you need for ham radio, including books, DVDs, antennas, rope, coax, and tuners. Gigaparts has it all and is open Monday through Saturday. Call us toll free at 866-535-4442 and our friendly staff will be happy to help you find the right products for nearly any project and budget. Online shopping made easy with real-time pricing and availability, and free shipping on most orders. Go to gigaparts.com and enter to win a free radio. Have a question? Click on Live Chat for a quick answer. Low prices? Huge selection. America's favorite ham radio store is Gigaparts.